Now, the White House has expressed disappointment after Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu cancelled a visit by a top Israeli delegation to Washington after the US chose to abstain on a United Nations Security Council resolution calling for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza. Uh, relations between the two countries, uh, Army, they're not what they once were. No, and look, I think we I think you know I'm a, I'm a truth teller. Um, wherever that net, wherever the truth takes me, the data takes me is kind of the position I will take. Look, Joe Biden, well, certainly as compared to President Obama, who was a terrible president when it came to Israel, who in the waning days of administration um, basically threw his arm to the bus and then backed the bus up over Israel. Compared to that, I, you know, Joe Biden, when it came to the first few months of the war that Israel was waging against Hamas butchers, was pretty good. Right? In deed and in word, he was supportive of Israel. And I have no real complaints uh, when it came to how he defended Israel for those first few months. But man, how things have turned. Uh, would you want to be Netanyahu coming to uh, to visit the Joe Biden administration after they, they, they abstain on a resolution that was so disgusting, that called for a unilateral ceasefire without the hostages, condemned Israel, did not condemn Hamas, but they couldn't vote against it. They couldn't veto that. They couldn't stomach a veto of that resolution. It was disgusting. You know you're wrong when you're on the same side as Hamas, Iran, and Hezbollah were cheering the U.S. decision to abstain. You know you made a wrong decision, a wrong turn somewhere when those guys are your cheering squad, right? Uh, look, this has been a major issue. And in fact, what's happened is Hamas understood that now they're, they are, they, they have a, a, a new ally you know, obviously, I don't, I don't think that Biden was looking to be their ally, but they're playing the Biden administration. The, the Hamas has now gone back to their original negotiating position because of this be, this lack of a veto, because of this abstention. They're now saying that we want to keep control of Gaza. We want a complete withdrawal of Israeli forces, and we want all Hamas terrorists released in exchange for the hostages. They have gone back to their original position. We have lost ground because of the weakness of this administration and its now unwillingness to support Israel. And all for what? Is Biden really anti-Israel? No. What he's doing it for crass political purposes, for a few votes in Michigan, he decided to throw his ally and stomp on him.